Well, we got another reporter here following up on Title 42 as well as illegal immigration. Let's go ahead and hear it. Thanks, Green. On immigration, we've talked to so many Border Patrol agents and leaders who are just really worried and anxious about the possibility of Title 42 ending next week. Big picture, what is the administration doing right now to get ready for that? So a couple of things that I want to lay out, and I kind of laid this out before, but um, I want to re reiterate it here is that, um, uh, you know, we're doing the work. We're going to do this in a safe and hu humane way. And we'll, we will have more uh, to share on the proposed preparedness next week before the December uh, 21st uh, date. But uh, look, we also need Congress to act. It is important uh, that they deliver the resources we requested for the border security and management. Uh, they need to pass the comprehensive immigration reform uh, that we have put forth on day one. The president put forth a comprehensive uh, reform. No, they don't, Kareen. No, they don't. Stop putting this on Congress. They don't have to do that. You sat there and removed the things that Trump did. You caused this mess. The Biden administration caused this mess. It is so bad that Democrats are now losing sleep over this. You have no solutions. You have no plans. Although you're coming up with Ali Hader Barakas as a six point plan. That, that guy literally told us the border was secure multiple times. And we've covered it here on the Bald Brad Show. It wasn't something like, oh, we just pulled it out of a hat. It wasn't something like we just read an article. We have it on tape. The guy saying the border's secure. It's secure. Okay, we know what's going on. We have it figured out. I'll figure it out. These people are idiots. They're idiots and they're wasting our money plan that dealt with protecting uh, for dream, protecting for dreamers cutting down uh, the asylum uh, the asylum uh, buildup that we have been seeing uh, especially because of what what the last administration did and they completely gutted the system and we know that uh, this has been a, a multi-decade long problem we need to modernize the system and this is something that the president has put forth and we are looking for uh, Congress to act we are asking Congress to act and so Hand the God, can somebody please, for the love of baby Jesus, write in the comments how anything that she just said is going to fix the issue. Anything. There's a Democrat, a, a moderate, an independent. I don't care who you are. Is there anything that she just said that actually solves the problem of people pouring across the border? I don't know of one. I didn't hear anything. I, didn't, I, have, I haven't heard anything for two years. I've just been told the border's secure. That's what I've been told. By Kamala Harris, been told by her. Hell, she told us, if you recall from Peter Ducey when he asked the question, that these people weren't walking across the border. Hmm, not happening. Also heard it from Joe Biden. Also heard it from the DHS secretary, Alejandro Marocas. I mean, the whole administration says the border is secure. So I don't I don't even know why these questions are being proposed if it's so secure. I don't know why she's bringing up El Paso and other other areas of the southern border. What, what's, what's going on in El Paso? What, what's, what's the big deal? I, I heard our border is secure. There's no issues. They can line up all they want, but no issues. So, uh, but in the meantime, what we have been able to do is the president, as I've mentioned before, has secured uh, historic funding. We have 23,000 uh, border security agents at the border, and that is the most amount that we've ever had. And that's because of what the president has been able to do. Uh, and we have worked to uh, you know, launch a historic anti-smuggling operations that are uh, taking thousands of smugglers off the streets. Uh, but look, the reality is we need Congress to take action. We need to do this in a bipartisan way, uh, as we have done, as the president has been able uh, to do more than 200 times during his administration. Just a com just a complete idiot. I'm sorry. I don't like throwing around that word or or, or calling people stupid and stuff. I, I as those that watch the Bob Brad show, I don't just throw those words around lightly. She's an idiot. Joe Biden is a moron. This administration sucks. There's not many things that they've done well or good. Like normally you could just come up with something on the top of your head of like, oh, this is what they've done well. But no, 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 no. They are terrible. Their messaging is terrible. They're lying to you all. Remember, for four years, we had to hear these crybabies all over the media, all over Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, complaining about Trump. Look what he's doing. Oh, woo, woo, hoo, boo, hoo, boo, hoo. Where are they all now? Literally, Twitter whole debacle, the Twitter files is out. You got Russia, Ukraine problems. Remember when Joe Biden told Donald Trump, he's going to eat your lunch, man. China's sitting there eating our lunch. And now you got this whole thing taking place at the southern border. No problem. But hey, you know, we're going we're gonna to take care of the DACA people. How does that solve the issue at the border? Oh, we're going we're gonna to figure out a, co we have a comprehensive immigration plan here of a streamlining of what takes place at the southern border. Even though 99% of those seeking asylum 
don't actually meet the qualifications, and then you just let them loose into the interior of the country. You have no damn plan. They have no plan, you guys. Zero. I can't cuss on here. Blank's about to hit the fan next week. And it's going to be bad. It's going to be really bad. If you live on one of these border states, good luck, man. Good luck. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Bald Brad Show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.